much pink food as they possibly could. So the uni and the ikura and the salmon, they're kind of pink. The, the strawberries, by the time we make the milkshake, they'll be pink. Um, but the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cook side by side. Okay. And you can just follow everything that I do. We're going to try to put together an ikura uni bowl, but don't oh, worry. Oh. Uh, but the first thing we have to do is sear the salmon. Okay. So if you want to put so a little bit of oil in the pan. So if you make sure you're picking up what we're putting down, we had uni, we had ikura, we had salmon roe, strawberries, and asparagus. And we are now going to make... Okay. Okay, and then a, a, a rice bowl using the salmon, which you're beautifully searing, the ikura, the uni, and then a strawberry milkshake? Yeah. Yes. We may add uni to the milkshake, but Obviously. we'll see how it goes. Um, well done. See that? Uh, yeah. All right. So what we're doing right now, as soon as you put something in the pan, we can season the side here with salt and pepper if you like. You what is it? Can we talk about the salmon for a second because it smells delicious. You've marinated it in delicious things. We have a wild salmon here that's marinated in a Korean barbecue. Oh, thank you. Oh. Marinade, which is soy sauce and ginger and garlic. It's and green onions. Can you guys smell that? It's yeah. fun. It is so fragrant. The ginger. And what that's we want to do. Oh, yeah. This, this man likes the strawberry. Oh. So what we want, grab your tongs right there. You can hit it like that. And what we, That's with cooking, going. you want to be as patient as possible. And you can see that sauteing and searing, we're not even touching the fish yet. And what we want to do is get a really good sear on one side. They're pretty hot. There we go. That looks good. Over there. And then we'll do the same thing here. And then while that's cooking on the other side, we can now add the asparagus because we want the salmon oh. to be a little rare. Right, you're not going to cook this very long, I assume. Not too long at all. All right, asparagus is in. So we've got our asparagus, our salmon, but I assume the ikura and the uni won't go in until no, they won't get cooked. taken them off the pan. So all then, right. Um, I don't know if What's there's next? Any, I don't know if there's any wine up here, but... Oh, we saw wine. We, have, we got wine? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this, is fact, this, this is bottle rock, yes. If there yeah, wasn't wine, we would have Can I bring you one? Absolutely. So, Thank you. So what we're going to do here is we're, we're making a pan roast. Okay. And we're also going to make the sauce in the pan as well. Beautiful. Do you all know how much I love this man? Woo! I love this man. This is the first time we're meeting in person. We have a Twitter friendship. We've been Twitter friends for over a decade. Yep. Roy, put like, your wine right We're there. like a pen pal. Oh, thanks. Um, but it's the Cheers. first time we've met in person. Cheers, guys. It's a bottle rock. Can I tell you something really beautiful about me? Can I tell them the story about when you DM me? Sure. Yeah. So about two years, right at the beginning of the pandemic, I think I tore my rotator cuff. And I was like, I couldn't move shit, man. And, and then all of a sudden, I get these DMs from Pink giving me all kinds of beautiful words of encouragement and wisdom and medical advice. And I just want to thank you for that. I followed none of it, but I didn't want to thank you for that. So well, those are my moms are nurses, so my friends get sick of hearing it. So what I want you to do now is take some of your wine and pour it in the pan. No! Don't worry, there's more wine. There's lots. Okay. But that actually is an important thing. Okay, so A lot of people think, Roy, that uh, you're supposed to cook with bad wine and only no, drink the no, good no, wine, yeah. right? That's what people think. No, why would you want to put any bad ingredients? If you're going to yes. get the best ingredients, that has to include the wine. Now, take Just your cold, take your cold yeah. butter. So this is a sauce we're making, which is called a beurre blanc. This is not a traditional beurre blanc. Yeah, one if we didn't one. add shallots or vinegar yet, but we're going to add some lemon juice, and so add that cold butter in there and start It's shaking. always cold. It has to be cold to make the sauce right. And I then what we're going to do that. is we're going to add lemon go. juice to this. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Take yeah. Take it oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, and then we'll keep shaking. Uh, I think this is an induction burger, yeah. so, so don't making, shake a, too much. making a burr blanc on an induction burger. This is nerdy right. chef stuff. Making an indu induction burblong is not the move. Off? It's not the move. No, no, it's not that. It's like a burblong. You have to shake it, but with these uh, induction burners, when you when you move it, it doesn't get hot anymore. 
but it's okay. We'll make it happen. So we have our sauce, we have our salmon. Now, You're doing a great job. what I'd love you to do is I'm gonna fill your bowl with rice here. Yeah, and heavy duty 
Blender sure. for a big job.